Okay, we're going to try this again. I'm having some major uh, audio issues. Uh, it's getting out of sync. So hopefully I'm, I'm going to be talking. It'll sound like my sentences are a little weird. I'm going to try not to talk while it's uh, doing its processing. Um, so what we're going to do is take a single image and uh, make an HDR image out of it. So what I did is I, I'm taking this picture and I'm going to, since it's dark, that seems to work the best with photomatics. Uh, the darker the better. Um, not really sure why, but uh, when you're working with a single image, the dark ones work the best. So I'm taking that image, I've created a single folder, and uh, what I want to do, the way to uh, do this in photomatics with a single picture, it's best to create a new folder and put your image inside that folder. And uh, what it's going to be doing is uh, batch processing so it's going to grab every image inside whatever folder folder you direct it to so it's important just to have one image in there if you have more it's going to grab every image that you uh, have in there so now that I've put it in there I'm going to start up photomatics and what you want to do here is go to automate batch processing this window uh, you want generate HDR image, process with details enhancer. You have different settings here you can play with later. Right now just leave them at default. Next you want to select one image at a time and uh, then you navigate down to your folder that you uh, put your image in. There's my image. These settings over here just leave at default you don't have to uh, change those at all. Once you're ready, click Run and uh, wait for it to finish batch processing. Now this is normally where the audio goes out of sync, so I'm going to try my best to sync it up here. Okay, hopefully everything is still together. What I'm going to do now that it uh, has completed, I want to close this go back to file <clears throat> and what I want to do is open that image and you'll navigate to your folder you go and now you have a new folder inside there it says photomatics results open the HDR image you get this little useless window now you see it's much darker uh, now what we want to do is do the uh, tone mapping and that's what's going to bring out the colors. They go to HDR, tone mapping. And you'll see now in the preview there's a lot more color to it. You can adjust these. Uh, the strength, color saturation will enhance the colors. As you move, as you click these circles as you move closer to the higher uh, light smoothing, it'll make it more like the original image. As you go to the left, it makes it more like an HDR image. I've had a lot of luck with just going right in the middle. Luminosity, pretty obvious, that just makes it lighter. These, just go through each one and play around with it and uh, until you're happy with the image. Uh, you'll see what each thing does. Gamma will make it brighter and darker uh, color as you turn the temperature up it'll make it more orange um, micro contrast just play around with that watch the different it does different things in different pictures so it's hard to generalize exactly what it does um, highlight smoothing if you end up with a lot of like a glow over objects in your picture if you turn up the uh, highlight smoothing that tends to get rid of it particularly with uh, sky so uh, that's one thing I can say for sure um, but for the most part just play around with each setting until you like what you see and uh, always remember you can undo it and try it again later so once you're happy with the image click OK and there's the final image you see in this case we got lucky there's no watermark. Sometimes it does it, sometimes it doesn't. Um, this was copied off the internet, so it's uh, 
not like the highest quality picture so I think that's why it uh, didn't do the watermark it seems like the better the picture the more likelihood that you're gonna find a watermark on there uh, at least for the free version so I uh, hope that helps you